Uh, there are a lot of new developments this morning in the bridge collapse in Baltimore. Eyewitness News reporter Mark Cotarobles is live in studio with the very latest. Mark. And headlining here the new information. Unfortunately, those six construction workers missing now presumed dead as of this morning. Officials say that the search now transitioning to a recovery operation. Divers, they were expected to be back in the water right now to resume that search. But from what we're hearing, that is possibly on pause. The twisted metal and debris underwater has essentially made conditions just too unsafe. Safe. That giant cargo ship lost power and crashed into the Francis Scott Key Bridge early yesterday morning, causing that bridge to collapse. Last night, the U.S. Coast Guard said the active search and rescue for the missing men was being suspended. Meantime, there is praise surrounding the quick response by first responders who were able to stop car traffic on the bridge just before the collision. Had that not happened, more lives could have been lost. Part of the investigation will determine if contaminated fuel played a role in that ship losing power. Meantime, this morning, Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg is on GMA. The force of this ship uh, is almost unimaginable. This is a vessel that was about uh, 100,000 tons uh, carrying its load. So 200 million pounds went into this bridge all at once, which is why you had that almost instant catastrophic result. The construction crew on the bridge was busy repairing masonry and potholes when that impact happened. This morning, three of the six missing men have been identified. Two are Guatemalan. One was an immigrant from El Salvador. The NTSB saying overnight that investigators boarded the ship and recovered the data recorder. That information will be looked over and they hope to have a timeline of the event sometime later today. As of course, this is just a, a developing investigation. And we have the videos. So we know pretty much what the yeah. timeline is. It was devastating. Stating. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.